What's going on? Welcome back to Canadian Dividend. So today I'm going to talk to you about this article just came out today. It says exploring three TSX dividend stocks with yields ranging from five to 8.3%. So in here kind of talks on how these three stocks, well, it goes over the list, but I want to talk about the top three, how they're considered stable and it's somewhat resilient against market volatility. So I want to talk about what these are and things that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So stock number one is right over here. So that is a bank in Nova Scotia. It does have a six out of six rating, or I don't know if it's the highest, but uh, or what it's out of, but it does have six stars. And so I'm going to go over this. So this is my favorite Canadian bank. I've been very open about that in the past. Over the last one year, it is down 3.58% in 2024 down 1.77%. This is what they do, just in case you do not know. So I obviously understand why they have this as stock number one, because it has different segments, business segments, right? So they don't just deal in North America. They have kind of a large Asian aspect as well. So that does help to mitigate some of their risk. Um, but as far as this, this is seasonality. So July typically results in a 0.9% green so far as of what I brought up clearly not so much August is a little bit negative September and November seems to be the next good month for 3.1 aside from all that though quickly going up over here so for the dividends so 6.69 percent is that yield pay it ratio is fairly acceptable in comparison to a lot of other big banks so 67.73 five years of dividend growth so that's 4.27 percent and two years of consecutive dividend growth they do are just past a ex-dividend date on the third so july the third so again you'll probably have to wait up until october but needless to say this is fairly good stuff and so in my opinion, I really do like this stock. I physically do own it right now. I want to quickly pop over to IBKR and I'll give you an overview of what Bank of Nova Scotia is truly saying. So latest Morningstar report does show $71 is a fair value. So take that into consideration, a lot uh, higher than what it currently is trading at. Analysts though, I'll give you an overview of what they are saying. So last one was done 27 days ago, new rating, so initiated coverage, $67 price target, UBS, Jill, who has a 61% success rating. Aside from that, last couple were like two months ago, and so yeah, nothing really, really recent. As a consensus among all the ratings, $68 is anticipated and that does represent a 7.29% upside. So with their earnings coming right around the corner, I feel like that might be what prompts a lot of ratings, just there's a lot of fear in the market. At the same time, there's a lot of optimism and banks are kind of that middle ground. So I understand again why they might be picking this company as stock number one because it does have a very good sustainable dividend. And I'll give you guys a quick overview of the Elliott Wave technicals as well while I am on here. So it does have a pivot point of $60.50. So for as long as it is below that, then it is anticipated to get between that $59 and $60 range. So the technicals aren't really in favor of upside, but then again, it is very close to that pivot. So if it is able to kind of crawl its way back above this point, then $66 is anticipated or kind of the high 60 sixes so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below quickly moving on to stock number two and that is right here so white cap and actually you can see the third one who cares i'll just show you everything so white cap resources ticker is wcp so this one right here in case you do not know is uh, this is the description i did actually invest in this like a long time ago um I, like it's very predictable for the most part uh, the trends but yeah it has 542 employees been founded in 09 uh, based out of calgary which is fair to assume that's pretty much majority of all the oil and gas in canada but you can see for july historically is more of a red august september for is greens and then whatever you guys can see the rest so highly recommend you guys pausing if you this is your thing so pause and then kind of reading it line by line if that's your thing again over the last one year it is down 0.29 percent in 2024 though it is up 17.02 percent looking at their dividends though 6.96% is that yield, very acceptable payout ratio in comparison to other peers. Um, so 
54.42% is that pay ratio, 16.18% growth rate over the last five years. And similar to Bank of Nova Scotia, two years of consecutive dividend growth. They do have an ex-dividend date coming up in the next couple of days. So that is on July 31st. And they also do pay monthly. So that's one of the kind of rare companies that actually do pay monthly. So this one definitely needs to be added to your watch list based on that. For earnings, it is anticipated, actually no, it looks like it was confirmed, October the 23rd. Doesn't seem right that they're doing it that far out. I don't know. Uh, again, I don't really know much about the day-to-day -day operations of this company much anymore. So take that into consideration. And this is the estimates for earnings per share and revenue. So just wanted to kind of bring that up. Going back over to IBKR, showing you white cap resources. So right here, uh, it does show the fair market value based on the latest Morningstar report, which was tail end of last week, $12.95. So obviously a lot of upside, roughly about 15, 20%. And looking here at the latest analyst ratings. So last one was done four days ago, $14 price target by RBC. Michael, who has a 54% success rating, so not necessarily the best. Aside from that, though, you do see a lot of optimism. Keep in mind, we're trading at $10.38, so $15.50, $12, $13, $13, many others, which as a consensus among them all, $13.93 is anticipated, and that does represent a 34% upside. So yeah, it's something definitely to add to your watch list about this company. Moving on to the last one, I've actually never heard of this one, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but Secure Energy Services, ticker is SES. So over the last one year, it is up 68.8%. Over the last 24 or in 2024, it is up 23.22%. This is the seasonality. So July seems to be flat, August negative, and then the next several months December seems to be a very good month. So over the last 10 years, it does yield a 8.1% return. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. But this is what they do, uh, company profile. So oil and gas equipment and services, 1800 employees founded in 07, again, based out of Calgary. But it is on that list because of it being a secure uh, dividend for the most part. So as you can kind of see, 3.4% is that yield, 61.53% is that payout ratio, 8.18% growth rate over the last five years, and then two years of consecutive dividend growth. It does pay a quarterly dividend just passed, um, looks like June the 28th. So uh, obviously just anticipate that for the tail end of September, the next one. So yeah, this is one thing to really add to your watch list based on this. It does have their earnings tomorrow. So the 30th, pre-market so pretty much right after this for the most part and not really much attention coming from analysts so only one positive revision over the last 90 days but when it comes down to analyst ratings for SEC. On a side note, if you're looking for a lot of good compiled information right here, such as if you want to know analyst forecasts, ownership, who actually owns it based on 13 Fs, take a look at IBKR for all of this to be completely free. Link in the description below and also the comments. But latest and Morningstar report is $9.99. So it's kind of like a sale going on. So keep in mind, we are trading at $11.62. So in essence, the fair value is a little bit lower, so something to keep in mind. Analysts, though, uh, based on this, the last one was done 14 days ago, $13 price target, CIBC, Jamie, who has a 51% success rating, so slightly better than flipping a coin for the most part. Last one was done last month and whatever else. So as a consensus, $13.50 is anticipated, and that does represent a 16.18% upside. So when it comes down to oil and gas, it is historically known Known to kind of weather the storm. So in volatile times, it does fairly well. Uh, nonetheless, it's not exempt from going down, just typically does do rather well. So again, something to keep in mind. So I understand where they do add it to this list. So white cap on a side note does have that six stars. I don't know. Once again, the kind of peak is it out of 10. Or is it out of six? Uh, I'm not really sure. But Secure Energy does have five out of six. And then the next one, which I'm not going to bring up, is Boston Pizza, uh, Royalties Income Fund, Power Corp, ticker POW. That one I've invested in quite a lot. Uh, RBC and many others. So let me know your thoughts on these top three. Do you own them? Do you trade them? What's your thoughts? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And with all that said, though, I appreciate all of you watching.